Peter Strzok is selected to be on Mueller's team. After all this history, put on Mueller's team, and then he's removed for some pro-Clinton text messages. I mean, there are all kinds of people on Mueller's team who are pro-Clinton. There's been all kinds of stories. PolitiFact reported 96% of the top lawyers' uh, uh, contributions went to Clinton or Obama. But Peter Strzok, the guy who ran the Clinton investigation, interviewed Mills, Abedin, interviewed Secretary Clinton, changed gross negligence and crime to the term extreme carelessness, who ran the Russian investigation, who interviewed Mike Flynn, gets put on Mueller's team, and then he gets kicked off for a text message that's anti-Trump. If he kicked everybody off Mueller's team who was anti-Trump, I don't think there'd be anybody left. So here, here, there's got to be something more here. It can't just be some text messages that show a pro-Clinton, anti-Trump bias. There's got to be something more. And I'm trying to figure out what it is. But my hunch is it has something to do with the dossier. Director, did Peter Strzok help produce and present the application to the FISA court to secure a warrant to spy on Americans associated with the Trump campaign. Uh, Congressman, I'm not prepared to discuss anything about uh, a FISA process in this it's setting. Not a, we're not talking about what happened in the court. We're talking about what the FBI took to the court, the application. Did Peter Strzok, was he involved in taking that to the court? Uh, I'm not going to discuss in this setting anything to do with the FISA court applications. Well, remember a couple things, Director, and I know you know this. We've, we've all been made aware of this in the last few weeks. Let's remember a couple things about the dossier. The Democrat National Committee and the Clinton campaign, which we now know were one and the same, paid the law firm who paid Fusion GPS, who paid Christopher Steele, who then paid Russians to put together a report that we call a dossier full of all kinds of fake news National Enquirer garbage. And it's been reported that this dossier was all dressed up by the FBI, taken to the FISA court, and presented as a legitimate intelligence document that it became the basis for granting a warrant to spy on Americans.